the Yigwich Falcha. So one of the things that I am asked for a lot is to pronounce place names of Ireland. And you'll see I've just put on to the screen where I want to start because one of the things that I get kind of grates on me a little bit um, through working in tourism for so long has been just even the basic county names in English getting mispronounced. So I did want to go through the county names and just show you how to pronounce all of them, give you a little map and, you know, a little uh, geography lesson while we're there, along with the pronunciation, and introduce you to my island in this way. So while I was looking for that, though, I found an interesting map. I think it was on the journal.ie originally, which is good news media. And what we have here, um, and you can see on the screen, is we have the English names, we have the Irish names, and we also have what they mean. So I thought that that would be an interesting one to work from. So we're going to start at the top uh, with Donegal. So I'm going to say that again, Donegal, Donegal. And Oscailge in Irish, it's Dún Nangal, Dún Nangal. So the alternative Irish for it is Tyr Connell, which is Connell's land. And what Donegal means is the fort of the foreigners. So that's Dune is a fort and Nangal, Gaul would be a foreigner. Okay. So we are going to go into, I'm just going to go across. I, we don't recognize borders here. So we have Derry which is sometimes called London Dairy, depending on uh, what side of the divide you were uh, born on. Um, but Dairy is the original name of it, and that comes from Dira, which is oak wood. Over in Antrim, uh, we have Antrim, obviously is the English county name. Antrim, which is Lone Ridge, Antrim. In English, we call it Antrim. Here, in Tyrone, we have Eugene's land. It's Tyr Owen. So Owen is, has been anglicized as Eugene. Uh, Owen is actually a native Irish name. So Tyr here, and we saw it in Tyr in the alternative name for Donegal was Tyr Connell. Here we have Tyr Owen. So Tyrone. Uh, Armagh is Ard Vaca which is Maka's height, the heights of Maka. That's Armagh. Over in Down, uh, this, is, this is pretty straightforward actually, and Dune is something that you'll see in a lot of place names, D-U father N. So it's on Dune, which is anglicized as Down, the county name Down, and it just means the fort. Okay, so we're gonna go over to Mayo. Uh, you'll hear this called Mayo or Mayo, and either is correct. Uh, again, it depends uh, what side of the Shannon you were born on, I think, at that point. So this comes from Mayo, which is, uh, or Mach O, which is the plane of the yew trees. So E-O is a U, it's the Irish word for you, and Mach uh, is plain. So you'll see it M-A-G-H. Uh, oftentimes. So up here we have Sligo, so that's Sligo, and it's Schligach, and it translates as Shelley Place. Not sure, that one seems a bit off to me, but um, sure we'll, we'll go with it. Uh, over here we have Leitrim, Leitrim, and it's Leitrim, the grey ridge, and that should actually be two words. Leah is grey, and trim is a ridge or, or I think that might even be trim originally, which might mean a back or the, the words are related anyway. I think we skipped El Fermanagh up here, uh, Fermanagh. And that comes from Far Monach, which is the men of Monach. Uh, we're over to Monaghan. So Monaghan. And that's Mwinachon, which means hilly land. Down here we have Cavan. Cavan, 
Cavan, as they pronounce it. My uncle's from Cavan. Uh, on Cavan, and that's the hollow on Cavan. Now, do bear in mind, by the way, that my pronunciation, uh, my dialect, is standard schoolgirl Irish, as I call it, uh, which means that it is a mixture of dialects from Munster and Connacht primarily. Um, I was reared mostly in Dublin and partly over in Clare over here. Uh, I hope you can see the pointer actually on the screen. Um, otherwise you're going to be a bit lost because I'm kind of hopping around between these counties. Uh, so of course we have covered Ulster and a lot of people think that Ulster is just these six counties that are helpfully colored in a different color here. Um, but actually Ulster is nine counties. So we also have Monaghan as part of Ulster, Cavan is technically part of Ulster and Donegal. So those are, I think Cavan is, or is Cavan Leinster? Oh, I might have got that wrong. John, do you know what the third county is that's not in the north of Ireland? Is it Cavan or Louth? Can't tell you, don't know. I think Cavan is Leinster as well, and maybe Louth is Ulster still, is it? Now, absolutely forgive me, Ulster people, for my, uh, my faux pas. I should. Um, I also have bad schoolgirl geography as well, so um, it's, it's a bit hazy from back in the days of primary school. So please do forgive. Um, I'm sure I'll get corrected in the comments below. So what did we, where did we stop? Uh, it seems that we've talked about it loud is Lou, and it comes from, named after Lou, who is uh, a god of the Tua de Danon. Uh, over here we have Roscommon. So that's Roscommon, and that comes from Roscommon, which is Common's Wood. I was right. What was I right? Cavan right. is Ulster. Okay, I was right. I was second guessing myself because John was wrong. Um, I second, my, second guessing myself with Cavan because um, I got confused with Loud because traditionally Cú Cullen's place, which is very much kind of Ulster. Now, we're talking about provinces here and bear in mind that the boundaries for the provinces have changed quite significantly through the years and through the you know various tribal associations. So um, my historical Ulster boundaries were mixing up with my modern uh, boundaries in my brain so that's why I was confusing loud as part of Ulster so again please do forgive me Leinster folk for uh, not knowing which counties are in uh, my home province whoops anyway Ross come on come on's wood uh, we're gonna go with Galway next which is Galway so I don't want to hear any other pronunciation of it please everybody says Galway that's not a dialectical one uh, I referred on Facebook to Galwegians um, in one of my posts the other day and people were quite blown away by it, but I can assure you that people do say Galwegian. Um, it is a thing, but it does come from Galav, Galav, which means stony, quite appropriately named, as many of them are. Um, over here we have Longford, and that is on Long Forth, which is the Riverside Fortification. Here we have Westmeath, which is the West Middle on Ear V. So Me is the middle. And on Ear V is West of the Middle, basically. So that's what Westmeath is. And here we have the Middle, which isn't actually in the middle. And that is on V, which is Meath and it just means the middle. Um, where are we now? We might as well go Dublin. So Dublin comes from Dove Lynn, uh, which is Blackpool. And I was always told growing up that there is literally a Blackpool, which is under the penguin enclosure in Dublin Zoo in the Phoenix Park. Now I don't know how true that is, but whenever I was questioning uh, 
why Dublin was called the Blackpool on Dublin. Uh, that's what I was told growing up. So uh, it's also known as Balia Auclea, which is the hurdled ford. So Balia is a town. So the town of Aw is ford and Clea would be the hurdled. Okay, so let's go over to Clare, which is on Clare, which is the plain. And Clare is Monster. This is where the Monster border starts. And I'm going to mix up that border as well uh, because this is Connacht up here in the West. And Monster then is the South. And I think I don't even know if Wicklow is in Munster or freaking Leinster. Wicklow's in Leinster. Um, Wexford is in Munster. And I'm not I'm gonna stop there. I'm totally gonna stop there. My provincial boundaries, obviously I should have had a map with which included provincial boundaries so that I didn't keep messing it up. But I, that's not what this video is about. Okay. So um like I said, I have this weird historical modern boundary division. At one point, we had six provinces. At another point in history, we had three provinces. So uh, things were quite uh, changeable. So we're going to go from Clare to Offaly. And that's Offaly. And it's named after, it's Uvall, named after the Efalga, which is the, a, a clan name, a family name, Efalga. So Offaly. And then we'll go across to Kildare, which is Kildara, the Oak Church. Um, we'll go to Wicklow then, Wicklow, which is from a Viking word, uh, which means the meadow of the Vikings. Viking Alo is where that comes from, apparently. Did not know that. Uh, but the Irish term for it is Kilvanthon which means the church of the toothless one. So you heard it here first. This is where toothless the dragon is from. Just saying. There's lots of glens up there that, you know, a dragon could get stuck in if it broke its wing. I'm just saying. Okay. So uh, we have Leash, which is named after Lura Leashok, who was a king. That's Leash. Uh, let's go down to Limerick, Porel Limerick, Limnock. Oskelga in Irish means bare spot. So that's Limerick for you. Then we have Tipperary, which most people would know because the old song, Long Way to Tipperary or something. Uh, that is from Tibrid Oran, which is the well of the Ara. I think the Ara must be a, I don't actually know what the Ara is. I'm not going to, not going to, um, put forth any supposition on that. Uh, down here we have Kilkenny, which is Kilkiana, which comes from uh, Canucks Church. And you'll see Kil is, you know, same as Kildare, Kilkenny. Uh, that would be, like Dune, that would be quite a common place name. And it literally comes from woods. It's translated as church, but it means uh, a small wood, basically quill is woods. So it comes from a very, obviously a very ancient time when holy places were groves of trees. And we have, uh, it, it's, it's gone into the language as church um, because that, you know, that, that was what the translation for holy place was or became uh, in later times. So Kilkianach is Kianach's church. And that's uh, the, the, the grove of Kyanok, really. Um, Carlo then, so Carlo, uh, comes from Caharlock, which is the place of the herds. And then we are going to go over to Kerry, which is Kiri, which is named for the people of Kier. We have Cork, which is Corky. To Cork, and that's a marsh, just a big marsh, just down here in Cork. Then Waterford comes from, now I'm going to mess up the Viking name, but it's from a Viking term, Vio which 
translates as ram ford and then Oscailga, it is in Irish it is Port Laraga, which is Larag's port. And Wexford then, last county, I don't think I've forgotten anyone. Wexford uh, also comes from a Viking word which is Vesafjora, maybe, something like that, uh, which is the ford of the mud flats. And Oscailga, that is Loch Garman, which is Garman's Lake or Carmen. And we think that that is a, uh, a sovereignty goddess. So you can see there's a very interesting history to the county names in Ireland. And uh, I've been delighted to share that with you. So I would like to do more Irish place name pronunciation. So if you have somewhere that your family's from, or if you'd like me to repeat any, I hope I was clear through all of those. But if you'd like me to repeat any, I can do another video, comment below with place names and give it a like and a thumbs up and a share and subscribe if you're new to the channel, because there's lots like this. And I'm gonna be doing daily content between the blog and the YouTube channel all through November and we'll see after that but definitely there's going to be regular content through December, January and on as well okay so as long as full don't forget like and subscribe and uh, give us an L thumbs up and let me know what place names what Irish place names you would like to see me talk about and pronounce okay Sloan.